Hello, good evening and welcome to News 360. I am Portia Gabo. My name is Lisa Moni and here are the headlines for tonight. Residents of Bibi say a suburb of Dan Suman worried about dumping of refuse into the Bibi Lagoon. Right, you're watching News 360, and uh, let's begin right away. Residents of Gubei say a suburb of Dan Suman have expressed concern about the continued dumping of refuse into the Gubei Lagoon, which has now spread into their vicinity. The residents complained they are forced to spend most of their time indoors due to the stench emanating from the dam site. This is not a landfill site. But a settlement for residents of Bebeise, a Sabbath of Dansoman in the Ablukman West municipality. This is Bebeise, a Sabbath of Dansoman in the Ablukman West municipality, where residents have accepted the practice of dumping refuse here to reclaim the Bebe Lagoon. Okay, so this young man will not accept the fact that they have accepted to dump refuse here illegally. The many have not accepted the practice of dumping refuse here. So tell me, what is the meaning of all this? This one is from that place. Like, 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 for instance, the rain fall. People like, uh, for, uh, people uh, put inside the thing from that place, from Paddy's, Mount Probi. This one, this here, 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 I'm coming. Here, for instance, mother. Here, for instance, see, this one, this one, this one. It's not from here. It's not from here. We check, put the camera here and see. It's from, uh, from that place, Tom. So you cannot tell us that we accept to put the thing here. For instance, me, I, I, I stay here, see. See my brother, I have four uh, this thing, what do you call three these thing, children. How can I put my refugee here? They wash, brush and cook here. For these little girls, this is where they find comfortable to learn. Residents and peoples as young as six years use this route daily. Royal Kilt School is located very close to the dumping site. Headmaster Isaac Akwe is worried about the health risk the insanitary condition poses to peoples. It affects most of the schools around. So I will appeal that we must sit to the drainage system there so that uh, when it rains like that, the water can just pass through easily. And also, if they can construct a bridge there so that those schools around, the children can pass through that bridge so that it will help the schools around. Medical officer at Royal Hospital, Dojita Adeyiga, says not less than 60 cholera cases are reported on a daily basis. Yeah, most of the children come in with diarrheal diseases, so we are saddled with a lot of diarrheal diseases every day. That is our number one concern. And also malaria. It's also a common presentation in this environment and I think it's a direct effect of what you have seen over there. So if the assembly do not take strict measures to restore and dredge the lagoon, health professionals say there will soon be an environmental health disaster. Joseph Armstrong Gould, Alagwe, TV3, Big Bay, Accra. You're watching News 360. We have more news coming up shortly. Do stay with us. Hello again. It's now time for Mission. And Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The people of Birim and surrounding communities are now excited. Some six months after Mission's visit, the only health centre has been renovated after years of neglect. A collapsed bridge linking the community to the rest of the Central District is also receiving attention after Mission's reports. Bright Nana Amfo reports residents are looking forward to improve healthcare delivery. This is what will welcome you to Brim, a community of 3,000 and more. The rainy season worsens matters drivers simply overwhelmed this whole community here they don't have any assemblyman or mp here to solve their problem for us no? 
It is not fair, as you can see, you know. We are all suffering. You have to uh, complete this bridge for us so that every problem will be solved. Healthcare was therefore a challenge. The only health center was in a bad state. Residents could not also go to the district capital to access health care, particularly during the rainy season. Mission had reported earlier of the precarious situation, and the assembly acted upon this. Renovation works started. The over 3,000 residents of Birim are now excited. Staffing was a challenge as many refused postings, but this has changed. We still have... Um shortage of human resource, even though the government has recently uh, posted some staff to our district. But the problem that we are having is that as soon as they mention that you are going to such a central district, then they start lobbying through other influential people. At the moment, we have about 18 people who have been posted to the districts, but we are still waiting for them. We have only three who have actually reported for permanent duties. District authorities want to improve healthcare delivery. We started that project when the, the rains were falling heavily. Yeah, and so we're bashed, actually. The people were not happy uh, at that time that we had to rip off the roof and then re-roof it again. But we kept on. And uh, now we have done a lot. I think that it is ready for us to, be, to begin operation. But a lot more has to be done. The facility is not connected to the national grid. This structure was in a very dilapidated state until it was renovated. Staff here are not happy, at least. They can work in a very confident and comfortable environment. Their worry, however, is about electricity. The facility is not connected to the national grid, and so vaccines are stored in a private person's house. What is the fear? The fear is that they cannot trust whatever goes on there when the vaccines are left in that person's house. The house receives power from this communication mast, and health staff are not happy. When you come to the CWC, then we have to go to our district counter for the vaccine. Then when we come and use and then there's a leftover. And if the leftover is so huge that we have to take them to Afranso. But if left with a small quantity, then we take them to our chief palace and store. So you can imagine that is a domestic fridge. So when you get there, they can push it aside. They will not be able to determine whether the vaccine are in the correct temperature. District health authorities are on top of dealing with health challenges in the Brim area. We have a solar panel equipment, a small capacity solar panel equipment. There used to be two, but one got broken. And so we want to enhance the capacity by buying a bigger capacity panel and then maybe inverters that will be able to provide some amount of uh, electricity to help them run the, the, the appliances that need electricity. The Setra Central District says Brim Health Center's challenges will be fixed soon. By July, the contractor will be on site. The materials and everything is almost ready. There should be a final sign of agreement between the Indian company and, and the government, and then they will bring it. You see, if this will have light, it's, it's the next town beyond, if you're talking about Tunzu, in my area. And you look at where Brim is. There's a market at the place. We have a clinic, a lot of schools. It holds around about 30 communities are around Brim. So any development that goes into Brim town itself has some athletes of some other communities that will come and enjoy. So that, that's the area we've been fighting for. And I think that designs, everything has been done. They give us the deadline should be between June and July where the contractor will come. And that one is an India company, and they have some level of resources, so it will be quick when the project starts. The Brim Health Center provides care for many residents in that part of the district, and the assembly says it is committed to improving services to the people. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Brim. 
Well, that's it for News 3 Sexy. Thanks so much for your time. I am Portia Gabo. I am Issa Mooney.